lights, gentlemen. You need to figure this out. Mr. Speaker, upstarts with some brandy distilled somewhere in the middle of nowhere in France. Oh. France! Uh, that Scotland should bend knee. That whiskey should bend knee. I say never! never! I say bend the knee, lest your head be brought down! Yeah. What is this brandy? It is something without backbone. And without backbone, what is a spirit? Our product is from thousands of small farmers in a sleepy corner of France. Whose honor I will not allow you to impugn. We put in business small German farmers, which are the backbone of a republic, sir. What we have is the gold standard in spirits to, to stick some brandy from France into a scotch cask. It's sacrilege. <laughs> Pray tell, what costeth this bottle? Fifty-five hundred dollars. Ha! Back to fifty. Can be purchased. For five percent of the price. Offering. Double the age statement. Double the age statement of the most ancient scotch on the market. Yeah. And furthermore, furthermore, sir, so you may hear and understand the extent of your robbery. Brandy takes three years to make from its first inception. It is then aged for twice as long in French oak, not reused American bourbon barrels. Shame! Shame! Mr. Speaker, I have no choice here today but to resign my position. I can continue on no longer pushing upon an unwitting and unsuspecting public a product that is inferior, both in terms of the quality of the grape, inferior in terms of the aging process, and inferior in terms of the age statement. I suggest that we take ancient brandy and finish it in Isla Scotch casks in honor of the great heritage which whiskey and scotch brings <clears throat> that we fuse the best of both worlds, creating in between them a combination greater than the world has ever yet seen! Yeah. All hail the new leader, Bokta! Yeah.